In the Northern Hemisphere, look for the star Delta Cephei in the constellation Cepheus the King. It's normally the fourth brightest star in the constellation, but since it's a variable star, it changes its brightness over time. This means it will dim for a couple of days and then get brighter over the next few days and then dim again and so on. Although many variable stars were observed before Delta Cephei, astronomers soon discovered that this star was different from the rest. And it's not alone. In fact, there are many similar variable stars which are grouped together and are called Cepheids. Cepheids are amazingly bright. Since they are so bright, they can be seen from really far away, even at their dimmest. Even more amazingly, these variable stars give us a way to determine distances to nearby galaxies, something that just wasn't possible before their discovery. Of course, it takes hard work from creative people to make these discoveries. People like Henrietta Swan Leavitt. In 1908, Leavitt studied Cepheid variables at Harvard College Observatory. After much work, she discovered that the more luminous a Cepheid is, the longer its period of variability, the time between one maximum brightness and the next. It is this relationship that makes it possible to determine large distances in space. How? Distances are calculated by comparing a star's observed brightness to its true luminosity, something that is quite difficult to measure. All we can really observe directly from Earth is how bright a star appears to be in our night sky. With Cepheids, however, if you know its period of variability, you can calculate its true luminosity. Then, by comparing it to the star's observed brightness, the distance to the star can be found. Cepheids help astronomers map the stars within our own Milky Way galaxy, and they help us know where we are amongst the trillions of galaxies in our universe. In fact, before Cepheids, astronomers didn't know just how vast our universe was. They thought that maybe everything they observed was within our own Milky Way galaxy, including a smudge of stars that was once called the Andromeda Nebula. By observing Cepheids in the Andromeda Nebula in 1924, Edwin Hubble determined that it was many hundreds of thousands of light years away, much more distant than anything in our Milky Way galaxy. Thus, the so-called nebula was actually another galaxy outside of our own, now properly named the Andromeda Galaxy. Edwin Hubble continued to use Cepheid variable stars to make even more discoveries, including finding out that our universe is expanding, growing larger every day. To help you explore Delta Cephei, the constellation Cepheus, and the rest of your night sky, try using a star chart or an app on your phone, or you can use our special handout. This variable star episode is brought to you by Ball State University, the International Planetarium Society, and the American Association of Variable Star Observers, an international consortium of amateur and professional astronomers. For more information on variable stars and how to observe them, visit their website at aavso.org.